so it is currently 5.20 in the morning. I've made my way nice and early down to the Gold Coast. I've got a bucket list shot that I want to get done for 2020. Uh, so this is a quick shot at sunrise of a surfer. So I've got the 70 to 200 with me. Uh, I'm going to whip that out now just to see what I can get this morning and hopefully get this, uh, tick this shot off nice and early in the year. I think one of the challenges with this shot is that there's actually no surfers out this morning. Um, so we'll see how we go. It looks like there's a couple walking up the beach now. So this is the first episode of my kind of 2020 bucket list shot list that I've put together over the last couple of months of uh, some photos that I've written down that I really want to push myself to try and take this year. May not, uh, just to try and push myself out of my comfort zone of not just doing street or something like that. So the first shot that I envisaged for uh, to kick this series off was um, a surfer at sunrise. I didn't really have uh, a really set out plan or the exact photo that I wanted, but I kind of had the idea of um, just a surfer at sunrise, carving hard on a wave, just getting that spray up and hopefully some glistening from the, from the sun onto the, and kind of glistening in that morning, uh, morning sun there. So I think I was able to get a shot that I really liked uh, this morning. Um, we'll jump into Lightroom together and we'll see if we can fix it up. It's a bit underexposed and we'll go from there. Really underexposed, but the sun is coming from this direction. So it's quite, um, it's all backlit, but it's got the basic idea. So to turn this little blue clipping on, you just uh, use these little arrows over here. One's for the shadow, this one on the left is for the shadows, this one here is for the highlights. As you can see, in your histogram, everything moves over to the left-hand side into the blacks and shadows. So we want to kind of even it out a little bit more and you can just drag 
this across if you like. I'm probably only going to add one stop there just to have a look to see what we're working with and we can come back. So I like having a look um, to see if I can fix up the temperature a little bit first just so it balances out the blues of the ocean and the golden morning sun. I think one thing that is really annoying me to start off with is that this needs to be level. I think a good way to check is to use the grid lines there to make sure that it's level. We'll come back and we'll grade that a little bit better. So starting off in the tone curve, just going to bring up the shadows a little bit to fade them out and then bring them back to the line here and add a little bit in the highlights there. So we are going to have to lift the shadows here just so we can kind of see what's going on. Although I do like him darkened out there, the surfer darkened out there. Black point. Just going to leave about there, I think. Take a little bit of contrast out of the image and then let's just try and balance these highlights a little bit. There we go. Kind of add a tiny bit of clarity, a bit of vibrance and take a little bit of saturation out. I think that's a good starting point. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of yellow in the highlights, just to add to here, particularly, won't change too much up in the top there. And I'm gonna add some blue in the shadows because the blue is the ocean there. And I reckon that'll be perfect. So take the sharpening up to 70, and then if you hold options and the masking, you can see what it's sharpening. There we go, perfect. Lens correction, of course. Now, I'm not gonna to touch any of this, but I am gonna play around with this red a little bit. And the blue. Just to make it a little bit more aqua. There we go. Alrighty, so that's pretty much done from what I envisioned the image as. What I'll do is a little trick here. Just want this to stand out a little bit more. So I'm just going to add some clarity and add some saturation just so that stands out a little bit more. And then I will crop for Instagram from there. It's a good horizon level. I'll put him in the third. So that brings us to the end of the first episode of my 2020 shot bucket list uh, idea for for this year. I've got uh, plenty more ideas written down that I really want to push myself to try and get out there and uh, tick off. Um, but let me know in the comments if you have anything that you think I should uh, push myself to go out and shoot. Until then, I'll see you in the next one.